Welcome back to another iDoctor UK video. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this iPhone 12 Pro Max, and it's got a problem with the loudspeaker. When we cover up the ear speaker, we can tell that there's no sound coming from that bottom speaker. However, it is coming from the top up here. So to get started, I'll first turn the phone off and remove the two proprietary cantaloupe screws from the bottom of the phone. Next, I'll place it face down on the heat mat for about six minutes. You can use a hairdryer or heat gun to open this phone. However, the heat mat will spread the heat evenly across the phone. Once the phone gets warm enough, we can flip it over, but keeping the heat mat on and the heat on it, we take a suction cup, place it onto the bottom of the screen, and begin lifting the screen to create a small gap at the bottom of the phone, just here. Once you've created a small gap, that means that the seal has been broken and you can add a couple of drops of isopropyl alcohol just to help loosen that adhesive a little bit more. Once a gap big enough to fit the opening pick has been created, carefully insert it into the edge, just a couple of millimeters, and begin running it along the right hand edge towards the top of the screen. Add a little bit more isopropyl alcohol and continue to run the pick along the edge of the phone. Repeat that on the left hand edge of the device, being extra careful this time not to insert the pick too far because the cables for the screen are in this edge. I'll add a little bit more alcohol just to loosen it up a bit more. And then this screen is just about freed now. To detach the top edge, I create a small gap, just enough to insert the guitar pick. And then wiggling the screen side to side, it should detach from the chassis. Now that we've got the phone open, we can take the heat mat out of the way, remove the suction cup, and then add some kind of heavy weighted object to the back of the phone so that we can rest the screen on it whilst we're working. There are three tri-wing screws holding down the screen and the battery connectors. Remove those screws. and use some tweezers to remove the shield. Once the shield's removed, take a plastic spudger and disconnect the battery to isolate power from the phone. You can then detach the screen flex cable from there and then moving to the top of the phone, there's four more tri-wing screws. Remove those and detach the shield. Take the plastic spudger again and detach this small cable for the ear speaker. You can now release the screen and put that to one side. Now that we're inside the phone, removing the loudspeaker itself is quite easy. Just unscrew the four crosshead screws from each corner of the loudspeaker and then use tweezers to lift the loudspeaker from the chassis of the phone. There is a little bit at the back where it's stuck with some tape. Just peel that away. Now taking the new loudspeaker, just pop it into place where you just removed the old one from and secure it down with one screw. Just looking at these two as a comparison, there is a metal bracket that needs to be transferred over. It is stuck to the loudspeaker, but not particularly strong. So we can just release it with some tweezers. and place it onto our new loudspeaker. Now I can reinstall the other three crosshead screws. And that should be just about installed. My next job now, because we've opened the device, I will remove the adhesive seal from the edges so that I can replace it with a new one. The glue on this model is particularly stubborn and I find it's removed best with one of these small, scrapey, chisely, scalpel-y tools. Once the thick of the glue has been removed, take a small brush and remove any leftover adhesive with some isopropyl alcohol. Now we can take our new seal, peel off the first film, 
and then I always start in the left hand corner followed by lining up the left hand edge and if everything's in line with that the rest of the seal will follow in alignment. Use a plastic spudger to make sure that it's pressed down right into the edge and sticks down well. You can now peel back the first layer of the blue film leaving the thin blue layer behind until we come to seal the device. As I said before, this phone was particularly dusty, so I'm just gonna brush up the edge of the screen before I install it. Then to reinstall the screen, I always start by lining up the touch and OLED connector and applying pressure, followed by the ear speaker flex, and finally the battery connector. I'll place the heavy object at the back to stop the screen falling over, then install the big shield at the top of the device, followed by the four tri-wing screws. Next, we can install the shield for the screen flexors and battery. Again, four tri-wing screws hold this one down. Finally, I can remove the last layer of the blue film then close up the phone just like you would closing a book. Like all iPhone screens, place the top of the screen in first and then work your way down the edges, securing it into place until you get that satisfying click. Then reinstall the two pentalobe screws. Now we can turn the phone on and when the device boots, we'll head straight to our testing app we can hear straight away that we've got audio from the loudspeaker. The ear speaker's still working fine and we'll test microphones whilst we're doing this. But I would say that that's a successful repair. Thank you for watching and see you next time.